think it's now time to uh, move to our final speaker, Sara Rivoira, who is going to uh, speak about her work uh, in the archives and out, out uh, in uh, uh, um, um, throughout Italy, promoting the, the cultural heritage. And uh, Erica, I think you're going to introduce Sara. Well, before uh, as a comment to what um, Peter Chacho said in a very moving way, I'm also the daughter of a Waldensian from Sicily. My father, Filippo Scroppo, was born in a community in a Waldensian church, which had already, and he was born in 1910. He was had already four grandparents who were Waldensians. <laughs> we go back to a long time. and. And the Panachia family are also related to us, like most Sicilians, uh, Valencian are related, like the people in the valleys. Let's go to somebody who is from the valleys, at least in origin, and that is Sara Rivoio. Being young, she hasn't done so much, but she has spent a lot of time studying. And, you know, so I, and I was surprised to see that she has studied in Pisa. And I don't know why, but that's amazing. So she even has a PhD, but we'll just don't go on to that. Mainly, she just studied and trained for uh, just to be in charge of what she's doing now. So cultural heritage, books, manuscripts, archive, and she also trained as an archivist in Turin. And since um, 2015, she's now in charge of uh, Beni Culturali for Museo Archivio in Tavola Valdese. She lives in Villar Pellice, where her husband is the pastor, the Valdensian pastor. Villar Pellice is wonderful. If you've never been to the valleys, you can't miss it. And but I think Peter Chacho did his first uh, sermon be just before being ordained, if I remember correctly. So now, Sara. Okay, thank you, Erika. Good morning, everyone. Uh, and I thank you so much for the invitation to this meeting. And firstly, I need to apologize in advance because of my English, but I hope you will bear me. And so I will read my speech and I want to thank my dear friend, Nikki Redden, who has helped me with the translation. And so as such as Erika told, I would like to introduce you to uh, the work of the Cultural Heritage Office of the Waldensian Executive Board, uh, which oversees the cultural heritage of the Waldensian and Methodist churches throughout Italy. So I will try to share uh, a PowerPoint. So I hope it will work. Okay, I hope you, you are seeing the Okay, so uh, our office uh, um, has not been in existence uh, long because it was established by the Synod of 2014 and was founded to carry out was what was stated in the agreement that the Waldensian Executive Board made with the Ministry of Cultural Heritage and Activities and Tourism in 2013. Um, that agreement had its origins in the agreement made between our churches and the Italian state in 1984 and recognizes that amongst other things, the heritage of a small minority such as ours is an integral part of the Italian national cultural heritage. For us, this means great opportunities, but of course, also great responsibility. Um, our office uh, deals with a wide and diverse heritage comprising objects, documents, books, buildings, historical places, memories and practices, biography and so on. And uh, um, to introduce you to our work, I've chosen three keywords that we generally use when doing presentation. And they, they are knowledge, conservation, and communication of the cultural heritage of the Methodist and Waldensian churches. And afterwards, I would like to show you one of our many projects. 
So knowledge. Um, we use to this word because uh, our cultural heritage must be studied and described according to common and shared standards. And this work, of course, is done by professionals like archivists and historian, librarian and museum experts. However, it's uh, for us also so import important to involve the communities as much as possible and we seek to develop activities and to collaborate with them. In fact, we also want to set up a process by which the local community can be to understand the significance and value of their heritage. This way, local people will become aware of the assets they have had passed down to them and feel part of their history becoming involved alongside the professional in the care and promotion of their heritage and passing on what they have received from the past onto the future generation. Further to this, the communities are also the bearer of values, knowledge and skills that need to be protected and valued, an intangible, but also an integral part of the heritage of a community. So the second key word is conservation. Our cultural heritage must be preserved and maintaining our cultural heritage is an act of responsibility toward our churches and towards the community. Our work is not limited to the heritage preserved in institutions such as uh, Waldensian Archives, in Pellice, or the Waldensian Library, offices, or Casa Valdez in Torre Pellice. Um, our office must support the churches with, with their local responsibility for daily management. And the third keyword, communication, and also I, I want to say sharing, um, the, sense, the, signific the significant is that we have received an important cultural heritage from past generation and it's our duty to share with the future generation in order to keep it alive. Mm, communication about and promotion of one's heritage, it's a task which is open to all citizens. Each one of us has the right not only to enjoy and benefit from our heritage, but also to play an active part in promoting initiatives that involve the use, study, knowledge of our cultural heritage. And in order to support these three areas, since the beginning, we have also been working towards providing a computerized system. This is called Abacum, and that means the Waldensian and Methodist Cultural Archives of Heritage and Cultural Activities. That's a digital platform and an online communication tool for cataloging and enhancing the value of cultural content. Part of this includes a website that you can read here in the slide, which I invite you to visit. There you can find lots of material, more than 15,000 historical photographs of the Waldensian Valleys and of Italy, dozens of inventories of the historical archives of individual Waldensian and Methodist churches. Uh, you can find also the inventories of the family archives collected together by the Waldensian Historical Society and the catalog of some of the collection in the Waldensian Museum, the collection of painting by Paolo Paschetto, and the digital copies of the local newspaper Eco delle Valli Valdesi from 1848 and 1992, which is now published under the name Reforma, and I think many of you, 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 can, you know the, the newspaper. And, uh, also, of course, some portrait of Charles Beckwith, for example. And every year we uh, are uploading more. For example, one of our next projects is to put online the digitalized copy of some of the historical correspondence of the Waldensian Executive Board from the 18th and early 19th century. 
So we are beginning this digitalization work right now. And in the next few years, we hope to be able to put online all the registers of birth, baptisms, marriages, and death belonging to our churches from the end of the 17th to the mid 20th century. Um, this is the homepage, but you can visit directly the, the website. Uh, we will find also some pages in, in English. And um, I particularly uh, would like to invite you to visit the section of the website dedicated to itineraries of visit linked to the present of Protestants in some of our Italian, Italian cities, for example, Turin and Florence. Um, we have worked on these itinerary, itineraries in order to emphasize the fact that Protestant history is intricately, intricately linked to, to Italian history. And we want to show that even in cities like, for example, Florence, that's one of the most well-known and visited Italian cities, there is a Protestant cultural heritage. A heritage made up of building, places, of remembrance, and of the story of its people. So Florence was the cradle of the Renaissance, but it was also the cradle of Italian Protestantism. And because of this, uh, we have put together two tours or itineraries in Florence. So one is dedicated to important places about Protestant history in, in the city, uh, like the Salviati Palace, which uh, today is a Waldensian guest house, but originally was the seat of the Waldensian Theological Faculty before becoming the Gould Institute for Children. And another itinerary is dedicated to significant and important people, uh, such as Piero Guicciardini, who was from a noble Florentine family and became a Protestant and built up the richest collection in Italy of books about the Reformation, now part of the National Library of Florence. So in 2021, we will continue our work. And if you would like to continue to follow us, you can do so, so by visiting our website or our Facebook page and also our uh, uh, YouTube channel. And I would like to, um, to end my speech with a brief uh, video on YouTube. And I will try to launch it from my computer and I hope also you can also hear the, um, the music. So let's try. <laughs>
Okay, thank you so much. But anyway, I invite you to visit uh, our YouTube channel. You will find uh, lots of videos about history. And so um, I, have ter I have finished my, my speech and thank you so much for uh, listening. And I hope to see you in Italy soon, maybe. Thank you so much, Sarah. That was uh, really interesting and uh, uh, clearly a resource we can go back to uh, online and, and physically sometime. Uh, and uh, many connections with, uh, with uh, places and people. And, uh, you know, very stimulating, I'm sure, also for, for families to, to, to look at uh, uh the, these records of where, where their ancestors have been and and and, and what the, the the lives that they led um do i have any is there any um questions for sarah immediately now ian sure. there's uh, kate grand has a hand up right kate yeah, can I just say, Sarah, um, how grateful I am to you for um, all that you and your team have, have, have put online. Um, back in October and November, I, I am the, uh, the editor of the Waldensian Fellowship um, newsletter, and I was looking for more details on some things, and I, I came across the website and I could have spent days and days and days there and there is quite a lot in English or some of the photographs you can just look at and enjoy even if you haven't got any uh, Italian but it's it's absolutely brilliant it was a it, it's a fantastic treasure trove so I can heartily recommend it thank you so much thank you thank you thank you